Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Monday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time. And today, our beautiful first reading, the opening of St. Paul's second letter to the church in Corinth, second letter to the Corinthians. Uh, and it's filled with a uh, dichotomy. <laughs> it's 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 a two, you know, the, the double-edged sword, if you will, uh, suffering and encouragement. And Paul is encouraging us, and as a matter of fact, a form of the word encouragement or encourage is used in this reading today ten times. Paul uses a form of the word of encourage or encouragement uh, ten times in this reading. Uh, encouraging us to push forward through all of our sufferings, all of our trials and tribulations, to receive our courage from Christ, which yesterday was really cemented for us where that courage, that encouragement comes from. You know, the word encourage just means to give someone courage, to and courage to give someone the courage to do something. Uh, we look at the cross, going back to yesterday again, we, go, we look at the cross and we see courage. Jesus and the, the epitome of courage to die for us, you know, and to, to have the, the, the wherewithal to be able to do that, to die so that we, could attain immortality, that we could live forever with him in paradise. So it was what we celebrated yesterday, the body and blood of Christ given to us from that cross. And we participate in, we partake of his body and his blood. And that's where we gain our courage. So next time you come up to receive communion and you're presented with Jesus himself in the Eucharist, take courage. Take Jesus, his courage, so that we can be strong in our faith and give that courage to others to be strong in their faith. So we have that beautiful uh, letter opening uh, from St. Paul to the Corinthians to, to find our courage in Christ and to share that courage with others. The fifth chapter of Matthew is our gospel today, the big part of the fifth chapter of, of Matthew, the, the beautiful Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus gives us, you know, the, the roadmap, how, how to live our Christianity to be meek, to be humble, to, to be strong through our grievings, to be merciful and kind, forgiving, to be peacemakers. Because why? When we push through all of these trials and tribulations and live a Christ-like life, which is how he's laying out these beatitudes, to be like him, we do these things. Blessed are you, he says. Your reward will be great in heaven. Forever. <laughs> I mean, that's the encouragement. That's the promise. So today, you know, we bask in yesterday's feast, Corpus Christi, and we live that. We begin to live that through the courage we receive from Jesus Christ and then share with each other. So we pray our evening prayer today with great courage as God encourages us to do. So I've used that word at least 10 times now just like St. Paul. So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for ever. Amen. Yours is more than mortal beauty. Every word you speak is full of grace. My heart overflows with noble words. To the King I must speak the song I have made. My tongue, my tongue is nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. Almighty One, gird your sword upon your thigh, in splendor and state ride on in triumph, for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king fall down in loose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for ever. Amen. Yours is more than mortal beauty. Every word you speak is full of grace. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. When you took on flesh, Lord Jesus, you made a marriage of mankind with God. Help us to be faithful to your word and endure our exile bravely until we are called to the heavenly marriage feast to which the Virgin Mary, exemplar of your church, has preceded us. The bridegroom is here. Go out and welcome him. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God planned in the fullness of time to restore all things in Christ. A reading from the St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. We thank God constantly that in receiving his message from us, you took it not as the word of men, 
but as it truly is, the Word of God at work within you who believe. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Like burning incense in your sight, which rises up to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Accept my prayer, O Lord, which rises up to you. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Forever will my soul proclaim the greatness of the Lord. Let us praise Christ, who loves, nourishes, and supports his church. With faith let us cry out to him, Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. Lord Jesus, grant that all men be saved, and come to the knowledge of truth. Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. Preserve our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and Gregory John, our Bishop. Come with your power to help them. Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. Remember those who long for honest work, so that they may lead a life of peaceful security. Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. Lord, be the refuge of the poor, their help in distress. Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. We commend to your care all bishops, priests, and deacons who have died. May they sing your praises forever around your heavenly throne. Answer the prayers of your people, Lord. And now let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Are you saying your prayers, Joseph? You're such a good boy. Almighty Father, you have given us the strength to work throughout this day. Receive our evening sacrifice of praise in thanksgiving for your countless gifts. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Great night, everyone. See you all tomorrow. You all, not y'all. <laughs>